ya serikali imependekeza kuongeza ushuru maradufu hali ambayo itaongeza mzigo kwa wakenya tende anyula na maelezo zaidi Huku Wizara ya Fedha ikiwa mbioni kwa nda bajeti ya mwaka 2024-2025, Muungano wa Azimio umetoa ilani kwa Wakenya kujiandaa kwa hali ngumu ya maisha, ukionya serikali imepanga kuongeza ushuru hata zaidi. We must forewarn Kenyans that as we predicted, the budget policy statement is confirming the tax burden um, is which it set out to increase drastically the economic proposals policies and strategies remain flawed and unachievable if the bps is anything to go by kenyans must be ready to tighten their belts because kk regime is coming after them in a second wave of taxes azimio ameonya wa kenya wasitarajie kupungua kwa gharama ya maisha wakikariri serikali haina mpango wa kuangazia shida zao it is clear that we are in a second phase of a reckless race to the bottom when one and a half years later all indicators point to the fact that life is deteriorating not improving the cost of life remains high as the cost of every basic item continues to go up we are staring at a second disastrous and painful year under Kenya kwanza bali na ugumu wa maisha nchini azimio wanahoji ushuru wa juu unafukuza wawekezaji nchini potential foreign investors are already fleeing Kenya because of the punitive taxes by the KK regime isitoshe upinzani umemulika serikali kwa kukopa kiholela na kuhatarisha mstakabali wa nchi without blinking an eye the regime went against its promise to reduce borrowing and did the complete opposite. Today, KK regime has borrowed close to 2 trillion shillings in just one and a half years. Sasa muungano huo umeapa kupinga vikali hatu ya serikali ya kuongeza ushuru. We commit to reject any further punitive taxation imposed on Kenyans by this regime in the name of economic transformation. Vile vile azimio melani hatua ya wabunge kupitisha mswada wa nyumba za bei nafuu wakishikilia makato ya nyumba za bei nafuu ni kinyume cha sheria. The affordable housing levy bill 2023 was introduced to the house after the courts twice declared the housing levy which is meant to finance the affordable housing program unfair, discriminatory and unconstitutional. As such, as we speak it remains unconstitutional. Wametoa ombi kwa bunge la seneti kutopitisha mswada huo. As the affordable housing levy bill 2023 moves to the Senate, we once again ask the senators from across the political divide to be patriotic and reject this bill in total. It is a bad bill for the people of Kenya. Henry Tenda Nyula, Look Up TV.